Cuba has freed the president of a Canadian transport company after more than three years in jail. Sai Tokmukjian was arrested in 2011 as part of an anti-corruption drive and jailed for 15 years on bribery charges. The court also arrested two other employees from the company and seized the Tokmukjian Group's Cuban assets, which were worth about $100 million, £65 million. Canada has so far refused to comment as to whether it played a role in securing Mr. Tokmukjian's release. During his trial, the Canadian government was engaged in talks between the US and Cuba aimed at restoring ties between the two countries. On December 17 Washington and Havana announced that they would normalize relations. Travesty of Justice At the time of Mr. Tokmukjian's sentencing, his company said the ruling was a travesty of justice that could deter potential investors from doing business with Cuba. Two other executives from the Tokmukjian group, fellow Canadian citizens Claudio Vetter and Marco Pooch, were sentenced to 8 and 12 years in prison. It is not yet clear whether they too will be released. The Ontario-based Tokmukjian group sold transportation, mining and construction equipment to Cuba for more than 20 years. Its offices in Havana were seized in 2011 on the orders of Cuban President Raul Castro. Fourteen Cubans, including two high-ranking officials, were also convicted and sentenced in the case. More on this story.